First at 11, neighbors fearing trouble with teenagers could turn deadly. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. People in the neighborhood say that a group has been shooting up parked cars at night. A number of vehicles have bullet holes in the area of Coyle and Joy on Detroit's west side. A neighborhood camera caught the suspected culprits on video. And tonight, 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozarjian talked to one of the frightened victims. Jillian Vallis brought her car here to a friend's house in Westland to get it fixed. She tells me she depends on DoorDash and can't do that right now. So this wasn't just a blow to her windshield. It was a blow to her livelihood, too. A herd of what neighbors say were possibly teens booking it down the street. This ring camera video shows a timestamp of 455 Monday morning. Jillian Vallis says shots ring out about 20 minutes before that. I was sitting in bed and I wake my son's dad up. I'm like, you didn't hear that? I'm like, you're telling me you didn't just hear six or seven gunshots come from outside? And he's like, no. Vallis later realized her back windshield had been hit. And the scariest part, she's usually up that early to make DoorDash deliveries. The bullet shot right through here. So if it would have shot like that, I wouldn't even be standing here right now. It probably would have grazed the back of my baby's head. We found two other cars on Coyle Street with bullet holes or damage. A third car was hit, but in a shooting that happened two days before, according to neighbors. Detroit police say they are early in the investigation, but believe the two incidents are connected. I'm just thinking, like, you guys are just out there to have fun. You guys weren't even shooting anything. You guys were just shooting at people's cars, making their lives harder. Mind you, the gold van that got shot, these are old ladies and walkers. Vallis says her neighborhood is mostly families and seniors, and like her, some are living paycheck to paycheck. I've had to pay hundred and something dollars, seventy-five dollars to get a window taken out of another car, and then twenty-eight for the new window, and then having to pay to get the window fixed. I've had to borrow the money from my mom, who doesn't even have the money. And Vallis says, on top of that, she's feeling unsafe in her own home. I got to worry about kids shooting up cars for absolutely no reason. Like, mind you, one of the guys was sitting in his vehicle when it got shot up. Now, what if that would have been me at 11 o'clock at night, the time I get home? DPD tells me they're still investigating the situation, so if you know anything, call 1-800-SPEAK-UP. In Westland, I'm Alex Bozarjian for 7 Action News.